Okay. Nothing. Still got the old sediment bowl that turns off with oil pressure. I'm not sure, Andrew. Grab me a half inch and let me see if there's gas in the bottom of the carburetor. Okay. Just checking to make sure I've got gas in the bottom of the carburetor bowl. Oh yeah. Got plenty of gas. Looks nice and clean too. Smells a little bit old, but looks nice and clean. Got it to pop off, sounds kind of rough, but it's been sitting and sitting, so that's not surprising. I just need to add a little water here. We'll start it up again after we get the water added, and we had to add some hydraulic to it. Hopefully we get the, this bucket to lift up. Okay. Just checking the oil in it. There comes the oil, so we're good.
think let's get the get the wells moved in. I think it's not coming up all the way, but it's I think it's coming up high enough we can probably get it loaded. So we'll get the wells moved in so it'll fit on the trailer and see if we can back it on. This hub. Start over. Just loosening up this hub so that we can slide the wheel in so it'll fit on my trailer. Surprised they're coming. Thought I'd have to use a big cheater bar. Trying. Let me loosen these on this side. Oh no, that's not going to go in there. I'm going to have to. Get a breaker bar. Okay, for any of you John Deere enthusiasts, you might know that this is my first dance with an old Pop and John. And so this is going to be a learning curve for me. And if anybody has good advice as, as I'm doing these videos, please comment for me. But I had done something wrong here. We've got bolts that hold the wedges and then these other bolts push them out. So I went the wrong direction with those. So hopefully I got everything broke loose now. Hopefully we can get it to loosen up and slide in. Doesn't want to move. So when you get to that point, get things loosened up, this one here is supposed to ratchet that tire in or out, but things are froze up solid here. It's going to take some more working. Okay, we got the bucket off of it, finally. It was kind of a real struggle, all the old rusty bolts. But we're going to just load that bucket onto the onto the trailer and then drive the tractor over to Andrew's house where we've got more time to get one of them tires slid in tighter. we're getting ready to go down the highway we just got to load this onto the trailer and I'm gonna drive this down the highway the transmission oil on it was way low and so we put three gallons of transmission oil into it and hopefully that'll be
good enough and hopefully we can make it home to Andrews. We got her home to Andrew's house. What an ordeal. Took us all day to do it. Uh, boy, this thing just purrs like a Poppin' John. <laughs> Oil pressure comes up to high. The temperature got up to just about 180. What was it, about six or eight miles we drove home? And the amp the alternator on it somebody switched it to an alternator and the amps are showing good amps on it although it's going the wrong way likely because it used to be a positive ground and now they changed it to negative ground but anyway it's got a little bit of gear chatter I'm not sure about what's going on with that but I think this tractor is a really good candidate for complete restoration if a guy had the budget which I don't but it's I think an excellent tractor thanks for watching